Harry Nuts here. Today we're out in the shop. We're going to upgrade the uh, motor and controller and wiring harness on our uh, 1996 Club Car DS. And uh, I don't have the cart here right now, but the uh, packages came in uh, from the folks at um, at uh, Golf Carts Modified. So I've watched some of their videos on YouTube. I highly recommend that if you're gonna do the same upgrade. I ordered the Navitas AC motor controller. Um, their website was very helpful. And then I called them, right? And the dude who answered the phone, I don't wanna say his name and dox him, but uh, freaking super, super helpful. Uh, normally we're out here cutting and welding and working on cars and all that kind of stuff. Today it's the golf cart. Uh, super excited. I ordered the Navitas 48 volt 600 amp 5W club car kit and it also came with a wiring harness. So let's uh, let's see what came in the box. Okay, so we're going to check out what came in the box right now. Let's go. Okay, just to let you guys know we got a new shop inspector too. Uh, this is Gouda. <laughs> but I'm super excited on uh, what came from uh, Golf Carts Modified. Super well packed, so you won't have any issues with uh, stuff being messed up. Comes with the um, the 600 amp AC controller. It's got Bluetooth, so. Uh, you just download uh, Navitas to your phone. It's on the fly programmable, capable. You can adjust the speed, regen, range, acceleration, and lock the settings. Uh, that's that's pretty cool. I've never I've never done this by the way, so it's gonna be something new for me. But uh, the cool thing about uh, working with Golf Cart Modified was the dudes were super cool. So they said, "Get any questions? Just call." Right. Um, also packed very well. Uh, that's the on-the-fly programmer. Uh, we got some cables, got some instructions in there. Uh, a few nuts, bolts, and doodads. I think that's going to be it for that box. And then, really, I mean, it's as simple as um, over in this. This box here, we got some different fittings. Looks like some lifting eyes. Because this motor looks incredibly heavy. So that's the uh, Nav Navitas 5KW uh, motor we'll be installing on the cart. All right, let me get all this unpackaged and we'll look at it again. I'd like to explain to you how I got that giant Navitas 5KW motor into my 1996 um, club car. I ended up taking that nut off right there and up top there's a nut right there and pulling that out and then these, this nut comes out or this bolt is attached, right? It's crazy. And then the same thing on this side took those out and then took the shocks loose and then jacked the center up. And as you jack the center up, it pivots the rear end back towards you. I put that motor, which is very heavy, on a uh, small floor jack, uh, sl slid it right in there and it went right into place. I, I just can't imagine that's not the easiest way to do that. I didn't fight that really for nothing. All right, I hope that helps somebody out.
So part of mounting our Navita 600 amp controller is mount, using the old plate that goes on the cart to the new mounting plate for the controller. The controller mounts on these four outside bolts. This plate mounts on the 1996 uh, club car with four bolts. So, so we cut this out. These bolts will come out underneath the controller. So the nuts and the bolts will be flush. And then we'll be able to mount the controller to this. I want to update you on where we're at. So we've got the motors installed. The controller is up under the top there on this cart. We put the solenoid right here. And when I got the wiring harness out, I go, oh my. Oh my. Of course, I contacted uh, Golf Carts Modified. They're freaking customer services over the top, right? Sent me a video and a um, schematic. So all this over here, uh, no, I should have cut all that crap out of there. Um, now I know, um, their customer service is over the top, man. Okay, update on the uh, conversion that we're doing on our 96 club car, batteries in and with help from uh, Golf Carts Modified, their customer service is A number one. So if I was ever gonna do this again, I would. And I would use uh, the folks at Golf Carts Modified again. I did go through the wiring harness. Uh, there's a video and label every wire to where they go. So that's how that turned out. Let me get her cleaned up a little bit, and then we'll, I'll do another video. Yeah, I'm gonna take the golf cart for a little test drive. We got everything pretty mellow right now. Okay, we just went for our test drive. Uh, pretty much burnout on command. You have your uh, motor controller, your battery monitor. Turned out real nice. I can't think enough. Uh, that's the lithium ion battery. Can't thank the, the folks at uh, Golf Carts Modified enough. Because it's awesome. If you're ever going to upgrade, those are the folks to go with. Uh, incredible service and uh, helpfulness. We got great videos too.